Hello, all you coin collectors out there, and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today, we're going to take a look at the three pence coin from the United Kingdom from 1967. And as you can see, this is the front of the coin. It says Elizabeth II, Dia Gracia, Reg Regina, FD. Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen and Defender of the Faith. And this is the really famous uh, portrait. It's called the first portrait of Queen Elizabeth. And this was when she was 29 years old. She's facing to the right. And Mary Gillick is the engraver of this portrait. You can see she's wearing this kind of laurel wreath. And she has her uh, hair tied in a ribbon with the ribbons flowing back. Just a really fine portrait. Now, if you look around the edges of this coin, you see these kind of corners. And actually, if you tip it up, you'll see that it does have corners. This is a dodecagonal, in other words, a 12-sided shape. And if you go from any one of these corners to the opposite side, it's going to be the same length. So every time you go across the coin to the opposite side, uh, exact opposite side, it's going to be the same length. So a dodecagonal means 12-sided. It has a smooth edge, and it is a nickel brass coin. So you see it's kind of... Uh, brownish or brass colored also. This coin was made from 1953 until 1970. Now in 1953 it was slightly different because that was the first year of Queen Elizabeth's reign and it said Brit Omn on the front or Queen of All Britons, B-R-I-T-O-N-S. Uh, and then in 1954 this ca coin came out and they produced it until 1970. I should also add that they didn't produce many in 1970. They only produced proof coins. So this is essentially the last year that they produced this for general circulation. And in 1967, they produced 151.78 million. What that means is there's tons of these out there. Why are these tons? Are there tons out there? Well, even though it is uh, 48 years old or going on 49 years old, uh, this coin. Um, um, going on 48 years since they stopped making it, uh, this coin uh, was taken out of circulation or demonetized in 1971. So it was only used from 19, this particular one from 1967 to 1971. Then they pulled it out of circulation, which meant that people just grabbed them and kept them. The government tried to take them back, uh, but you know, for uh, the the value of this, you might as well keep it and see if it increases in value. Now, if you look at the very back of this, you see that it has this gate on it. This is called a Tudor Porticullus, and this is actually on one of the shields, and you can see the crown at the top. This is a gate that goes would go like in a castle or something with these huge metal spikes that came down to keep you from going in. This is currently the symbol of the British Parliament. So if you get anything from a parliament member, you would get a letter, and it might have this um, on the letter. You see it says three on this side, pence on this side going up. And then down here it has the date, and this one, of course, is 1967. Now, these coins um, were uh, demonetized uh, because Britain went to the uh, decimalization system of the pound where one pence equaled a hundred, hundredth of a pound. This particular coin, under the old British pound, 83 pence coins, or threps, sometimes they call them, 80 threps equaled the pound, or 241 pence equaled the pound, or 480 half pence equaled the pound. And so when they moved to decimalization, this coin was no longer necessary uh, they did keep the sixpence coin for a while afterwards because that was equal essentially to the same as the new five pence coin. All right, so this this coin um, is uh, around in a lot of places. In part, I think it's here because uh, it's kind of heavy. So when you order a, a bunch of foreign coins, this is one of the heavier ones. It's 6.8 grams, it's nickel brass, and uh, it has very little value. Um, except if you're trying to collect all of them. So this one here might be worth uh, under 50 cents US or maybe um, under a half pound or 50 pence. Uh, 
in Britain. All right, that's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Have a great day, and subscribe to our channel if you like world and international coin videos.